Y'all, it's so hot outside today. Uh, it was cool almost like spring or winter a few days ago. Um, today it's saying it feels like a hundred. So I got radar right there. Um, normally I put him in the house, but my ex and his dog is in there. So I got radar in here, and then well you can't see because it's dark down there, but puppy's down there under the table. So yeah, it's just too hot outside right now. Alrighty, hey YouTube, uh, hold on a minute. Hey YouTube, so I want to show you I'm making some hamburger steak. Uh oh. Uh, okay, so <laughs> here's what's funny. Okay, I put eggs in my hamburger, but that's not what's funny. What's funny <laughs> is I was watching one of Alice Tells All's videos, and <laughs> Zeus said that he picks the things off the side of the eggs. Well, that's what I thought was, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I thought was funny because I have been picking those things off the side of the eggs forever. Um, let me add, I always add a little bit of milk to my egg. And hold on, whip it up. And this helps hold the hamburger together. I'm sure most of y'all use at least an egg. I don't have a lot of hamburger because you know I don't eat a lot. Um, it's, it is for people, but this right here is going to make four nice size hamburger steaks. So, then I put, well this lighting is awful. Then I put, lift an onion soup mix in here. And I've got that other light on too, I don't know y'all. Okay. So, I'm pouring the lift and onion soup mix in, the egg, um, Italian style breadcrumbs, in here. Uh, then I use some steak sauce. Oops, well I just dropped the lid. Sometimes I use barbecue sauce in it too. But if you want to make gravy, and I normally make gravy with it. Um, I, I use Worcestershire too, but I don't have any. Um, okay, so I'm going to add a little pepper, um, of course my regular stuff that I always use, um, my seasoned salt, if I can get it to come out, like I said, if you have high blood pressure, don't use it, I don't cook with salt, but I do cook with seasoned salt, so, Throw me some parsley up in here. I gotta take this cap off so I can get a little more out. Some parsley. Oops, well. Drop that. You know, the onion powder. Y'all, this moisture in this camper, I swear. And I put it in the other pull-out thing because the moisture's not as bad there. Um, and garlic salt. And, of course, have to have Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash is good in everything. All right, well, you see what's in it? I'm going to mix it up, make the hamburgers, and I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, so let's chat. So, anyway, these are, I was only able to fit three in here for now. Um, so, I'll have to cook a couple more. But... 
Anyway, once I get them browned on each side, I cut them down and I put the lid on a crack on them and I let them cook so that I can be sure that they're cooked all the way through. Um, and anyway, I'll be back when I get all the hamburgers cooked and show you how I make the gravy. And I'm not sure, but I think I may have made this one other time and there could possibly be a video on it um, already. But, uh, I've got some things I want to talk to you all about, um, a little bit later, but I'll do another little video after I'm done with my hamburger steak. Okay, let's finish this up. So, I took the hamburgers out, and I've got to get the grease back hot, um, but you take, you know, any excessive grease out. There's going to be grease in it, but take any excessive grease out. Um, and like I said, it's making gravy with the drippings. Let me let it get hot before I put the flour, because it has to be hot. And uh, you don't need a lot of grease, but you do need some. And right here is your drippings, which will come off the bottom of the pan when you add water. Okay, I'm thinking that yes, it should be hot by now. Let's see. Well, not quite. Well, here yeah, it is. Okay. Sprinkle in the around in the bottom of the pan. Alright, let me get my flour back up. Mm. I think I'm going to make a uh, sirloin and uh, carrots and potatoes sometime this week. Okay, now we get the flour. As you can see, you get the flour in the grease real good. Stir it around. And now you add some water. Slowly. Stir it around a little. Keep adding. Keep stirring. You don't want to add a lot at one time because it'll get cold. And then it'll lump up on you. So. And all that black will most likely come off the pan into the gravy because. i add some more. in the bottle because I put the hamburgers back in and let them simmer in the in the gravy because that will uh, just make them even that much better okay, that's that oh, Jesus. Have to call her back in a yeah. oh sorry about that y'all like I said, every time I make a video, somebody calls. All right, now take your browning gravy and pour it in there. Just a little bit, just enough to get it brown. I'm going to have to add some more water, of course. Now you can add salt and pepper, or just pepper. Um, I'm adding some pepper. Like I said, I don't cook with salt. Okay. 
Okay. Now. Get some more water in here. So I have it sweet and gravy. Mm. Okay, that should make enough gravy right there. And already the black's about coming off the bottom of the pan. Okay, now, I stir it around real good, and then, I'm going to cut this way down to a simmer, and let it simmer until it thickens, stir it occasionally. All right, I'll let you know when it gets done. Okay, so here it is, y'all. Um, I only got like a half of a piece of hamburger steak because I just, I can't eat that much. And I would normally make green beans with this, but instead I wanted spinach. Uh, let me show you the hamburgers in the pan. There they are. And, uh, yep, so that's it. That's gravy and hamburger steak.